What is going on guys? Today I have another unboxing for you guys. We have the TPOB Candy Clipper and the Ghost X Candy Trimmer. Now these might look super familiar and similar to the slime clipper and trimmer that we had before, but as far as I know, these are upgraded. But let's not waste any time. Let's go ahead and throw these on the station. We'll go ahead and open them up, see what the differences are, test them out, and I'll let you guys know what I think. All right guys, so we're gonna set the trimmer to the side. We will tackle it here in a second. And here is the clipper, guys. So TPOB candy, guys. Basically the same as the slime clipper, or at least pretty close. I don't remember exactly what it looks like, but it is pretty similar to this. Obviously, guys, this is pink. That's what the candy comes in. That's all this on the front. We do have the color key on the side, guys. This is the colored guards. It's gonna come with basically the half all the way up to the six. So no seven or eight, but that's not really that significant. I don't know about you guys, but I don't really use the seven or eight. We have TPOB on the bottom and the top and it does have the drips and then we have the candy logo on the other side let's go ahead cut this plastic off and get this thing open all right so if you guys haven't seen any of the other tpob unboxings super quality packaging guys this is literally like the apple packaging you guys see the bottom won't even come out it is that super nice solid white packaging let me shake it enough to get my hands on it there we go and we can go ahead and pull it out and just like the slime box guys we do have the pink drips on this one coming out the side of the box so that's super cool oh super quality but that's not what we're here for guys let's go ahead and check out what's in here we'll go ahead and move the clipper to the side we will get to that in a second here is the candy user manual usually don't read any of those here are our guards guys they look pretty similar to wall guards these are just your standard snap on these are not Premiums. We have a charging cord, looks like kind of a regular plug, not too crazy. Obviously that will plug into the back of our dock here and we can charge it. And kind of a cool feature that is new to this, this has just a USB, so we can plug this right in. Guys, I have some plugs down here on the side of my station instead of the UK plug that I believe came with the last clipper. We do have a clipper brush and some clipper oil and there's two more guards hiding in the bottom. So that's it in the bottom. Actually gonna go ahead and throw the guards back in. We'll leave the dock out so we can charge it. Clipper brush, clipper oil. Go ahead and take the clipper out of here, put all this back up and get it out of the way. All right guys, so here is the TPOB candy. You guys can see it is basically a Magic Clip style shape. It's actually a little bit heavier, I would say, than a Magic Clip. You can see the clear lid on the front. Kind of cool, you can see all the digital readout. You can see the motor and all those things and the circuit board or whatever you guys want to call it. Pretty cool though, nice and bright pink. Obviously, pink's not necessarily my favorite color, but I do like some bright colors. And you guys know my custom FXs have some pink on them as well, so not too bad. We do have a digital readout right here on the bottom. Obviously here's our charging cord, so we can use the dock or we can plug the cord straight into the clipper, which I might do. I might keep the dock off. I got enough stuff up on my station, but TPOB at the top. Here's the lever, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and check. One, two, three, four. So one of my complaints on the other clipper, the slime clipper that was similar to this, when you only have four clicks, guys, you cannot go to the middle. And you guys know in my system, the way that I cut, I use it halfway open a lot. So a little bit different to get used to, but we will test it out anyway and see how it works. Guys, this is like a matte case on the back. I don't know how well you guys can see it, but it's not shiny and it actually feels not as smooth as maybe some of your traditional clippers. Now here's a plus for me guys, this does have the taper blade on it. So you guys know I love the taper blade. You can see TPOB on the taper blade, it is a silver, probably like an aluminum blade. Go ahead and close it up and see how close it is. Not zeroed, but that's about where I keep it. Guys, I don't really like to rattle my guard, so that's where I keep it. You guys see it opens up. Not too bad, so that is it for the clipper guys. Not a whole lot on here, we will charge it up. We'll kind of look at this battery life percentage. And you guys can see that says 100%. So we're 100% charged already out the box. That's sweet. We don't even have to charge them. So I'm just going to set them to the side. We will go ahead and do the trimmer. Like I said, I'm not going to hook the dock up. I'm just going to keep the cord out, plug it straight in if we need it. But let's grab the trimmer and check it out. All right, so here is the trimmer. Very similar, guys. Obviously pink. TPOB Ghost X, that is the trimmer itself. Candy is kind of the colorway. So it does come with guards. You guys can see on the side, one, two, three, four millimeters. I don't really use guards on my trimmers. I don't know about you guys. Ghost X candy on the side, TPOB T. TPOB, not too different from the clipper. Now let's go ahead and cut this thing open. All right, so that is it for the box. We already looked at it. Let's go ahead and get it out. Should have the pink slime drips again. Man, I mean, that thing's suction, guys. I don't know if you can see my hand shaking. You saw how far that just flew off when I grabbed it. So, all right, there's the trimmer. We'll get that out of the way. All right, so we got the instruction manual. Oh, I thought that was a little booklet, but another charging dock. You guys can see similar to the other. Obviously gonna operate the same. Another cord right here. Here are our trimmer guards. Like I said, I don't really use trimmer guards, but we will keep them out, I guess. Clipper brush back here and some clipper oil. Guys, everybody sends clipper oil with every clipper. If I kept it all, I would have, I mean, just a huge amount of 
clipper oil. I just keep a big bottle on my station and that's all I really need. So we'll go ahead and put all this up. Like I said, guys, I got the other charging cord over there, so I don't really need both. Can't get that back in all the way. Doesn't matter, we're not gonna put it back in there. Go ahead and close this thing up and pop this trimmer out and check it out. All right, guys, so TPOB, this is just like the green one. You guys remember I talked about the shape a little bit. It is a little bit funny, just a little different to deal with. This is the on switch, obviously, and guys, there's a little thing in here, I believe, stopping you from getting it on. You gotta pop this out. There we go. Now we can turn it on and off. Up here, we have a skeleton shield, so we can pull it off and keep it skeletoned or snap it back on and keep it clean, I believe. I think that's what it's for if you want to keep the top clean. You can leave it on there. Otherwise, you can have it skeleton and have it like this. So pretty simple here, guys. Basically, just the trimmer with the power switch plug in on the bottom this is the new and improved tpob x blade there is something different about this blade than the blade that was in the last one if you guys saw the last video these things still hit pretty hard so i'm looking forward to seeing how good this is with the new blade on it also checking out this i believe it has a new and improved motor i didn't see a whole lot of specs on the box so we will just check these things out and see how they cut so anyway guys i'm gonna go ahead i guess this is charged up i'm gonna throw this on the charger make sure that it's good and we will do a couple haircuts with them and see what they're talking about All right, guys, so I apologize I didn't have any sound on that last clip. And of course, I was talking my head off through that whole video and got home and I didn't have the audio. But a couple notes about the clipper. I don't know if I mentioned it, but I did take the clicks out. And you guys heard me mention that it only had four clicks, so there is no middle. I took the clicks out. Absolutely a huge improvement, guys. On the slime clipper, I had that same issue with not having enough clicks to get to the middle of the clipper. And it threw off my fade steps. Now, once I took the clicks out, it's a floating lever. And I absolutely like this thing so much better than it was with the four clicks. Now, you guys can see in the video, the clipper cut super nice. Definitely like this taper blade a whole lot compared to a fade blade. We have plenty of battery life to get the haircut done. I think we had about 85% left when the haircut was finished. So you guys could get at least five or six haircuts out of one charge on this clipper. And like I said, pink isn't necessarily my favorite color, but these things are pretty cool looking where you can see through and see all the guts on the inside. So definitely no complaints about this thing. It definitely did a pretty good job on that haircut. Now the trimmer guys, obviously I don't love the shape. You guys hear me talk about it a few times, but it did get the job done. It balls out no problem. You saw we put the part in the side of the haircut, nice and sharp with this trimmer. It is super skeletoned and skinny at the top, so you guys can get in there. Even when you flip it, get in there and detail those lines. Super nice. And you guys saw it did a perfectly good job. 
Now guys, you can find these candy clippers and trimmers on thepissedoffbarber.com. It is in Great British Pounds, which is their currency, but it equals about $100 US and about $80 US. So you guys can get this set for $180, $100 for a clipper, $80 for the trimmer. And you guys can use code Sean Guts Hair and save 10% on your entire order on thepissedoffbarber.com. Now make sure you guys click right here and check out the slime set that I talked about in this video, basically the same as these, but in a slime, lime green colorway.